Hi, I'm Debbie Abu. Welcome to this segment of Two Minute Tips on Acrylic Painting Techniques. So I'm an art teacher and I get asked a ton of questions about acrylic painting. So I'm going to be going over the most frequently asked questions and trying to give you the answers in two minutes. Today's segment is on how do I blend acrylics. So we're going to start the timer. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. So there's two techniques. There's wet on wet and then there's wet on dry. Those are the two techniques I use most of the time. So if you're doing wet on wet, that's just a simple, basic, move in pretty fast. You're gonna paint with whatever color you're starting with. And then while that paint's still wet, you're gonna take the next color of paint. In my sample here, I'm doing blue and white. You're gonna take the white, you're gonna just dip it directly in the white and you're just gonna start painting right where that wet blue ended. So you're just gonna blend back and forth, back and forth into that wet paint and slowly it'll just start to blend and make a nice smooth transition and you can just add more paint as you go along further down the canvas. Another technique of wet on wet is a kind of a crisscross um, technique. So this one I'm doing with the magenta background. And the same thing, I'm just painting the magenta first, the dark color first, and then I'm taking the white, and I'm starting the white down below and working up into the paint. And then you'll see if you go kind of like an X pattern, crisscross, crisscross, just back and forth, and just lightly flick your brush back and forth, and as much as you want it to blend, if you want it really smooth, then you just keep blending, keep blending, keep blending, and then again, gradually adding paint as you go along. The wet on dry technique, you can do this. Um, sometimes it's harder to blend when the paint's already dry. So if you do have a dry painting and you wanna go back in and blend into it, you can use either water or a glazing medium. Um, I like this Windsor Newton. Water can tend to break up the pigment of the paint and it won't last as long over time. When you're adding the glazing medium, you can add as much or as little as you want. If you're working with water and you add too much water, you're gonna get those drips again. But with the glazing medium, it doesn't drip because it's kind of a thick substance. So you have so much more control with the glazing medium. So in this case, on the flower petal, I was adding a lighter highlight. So I started with a little more white paint on the edge of the petal, and then I added more and more glazing liquid as I wanted it to fade out. And time is up. One second. Ooh, that was close. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. And, <laughs> oops. Please think about subscribing if you're interested in seeing more videos and tap that little bell and you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. Stay tuned for more two minute tips. Bye. Hey poet, what you doing? Are you pouting? Are you sad that it's not all about you?